It's my favorite evening. I'm pacing around the floor. Got southern woods and waters gonna take me out the door. Got coffee on a perkin. I'm about to have some fun. They'll have my mind chasing some critter on the run. Bring it on, southern woods and waters. Make me hear that sound of a fish that's breaking water or the bawling of some hounds. Make me smell that river mud, feel clean air on my face. Bring it on, southern woods and waters. Show me that special place. Probably about 11 inch proper. everybody we want to welcome each and every one of y'all to this week's edition of southern woods and waters We've got a really fun show put together for you tonight and if you like seeing big catfish it's going to be one really for you tonight because we're going to be heading down to the tennessee river and we're going to be going to the first annual hope outdoors catfish tournament down there and it and i've got in with the studio with me tonight mr jr sweat and uh he is with tennessee river productions with multiple things jr you've been involved in the catfishing and tournament world a long time and, i have and you helped to host this tournament and then beside him i've got shane mcbroom and uh, shane you're with hope outdoors and yes. you helped kind of coordinate this whole deal and um you guys y'all are really a, a great organization and we've actually had uh, a lot of you may remember this spring we had some turkey hunts that were from Hope Outdoors and we were doing that with Pastor Tim Buffalo and yep. and those guys and had a good time but uh, this this tournament really turned out well didn't it Joe? I mean, especially for the first year I mean I thought y'all did great I was I was absolutely surprised uh, I was expecting a big turnout and we we out the catfish industry and the catfish world is a family affair and uh, the family came together on this one and uh, we really had some good weights. We had some some good people. We had some good fish that got weighed in. And uh, we had an auction afterwards that was uh, just, to me, it was mind blowing. It, it I was expecting to, uh, I had a certain dollar figure that I was looking at for us to make for Hope. And uh, we exceeded that. Twofold. That's, that's <laughs> great. Well, guys, what we're going to do tonight in the first segment, we're just going to go on down to the river and we're going to check out uh, some of the fishing as it was going on. Just show you all a little bit around the river and where everybody was fishing. And I want you to follow along with us. And we're going to head on that direction now. We're out here on the Tennessee River this morning. I met up with J.R. Swift. We're at the Hope Outdoors Catfish Tournament. We've got some big guns out here today trying to catch the big cats. Heard rumor there might be some already put in the few boats, so I think it's going to be a really cold day. We're fixing the boat right now with some B-roll. Got Anthony with me, so we're going to have a big time today getting out here on the river and just seeing how this catfish tournament's going. We're going to go join the way in later, and hopefully there's going to be some pigs coming across that, that way in line. And from what we hear, I think we're going to have a few boats out here today. Mark, you see that White House right there? Right there, that's called the Cherry Mansion. That, that house was built in 1830, and it, it, when the Civil War was going on, it housed uh, Ulysses S. Grant and, and his people as their headquarters. And when we get down the river, we're going to show you Shiloh Park, which was where they had a big, infamous battle, and he sent forces from here down there.
league, catch and release practices. We put these fish in an aerated tub. These fish are healthy, they're alive, they're going back to the river. <laughs> they're catching them. We're going to put them in the, in the tub in the back of the side by side. And they'll be taken back to the river to live another day. I also want to thank you for getting behind Hope Outdoors. As y'all can tell, it's a God-based ministry. Uh, Jason Rowland invited me to a deer hunt after I had him on radio last year. And I dressed up and I went. I had Ducks Unlimited. I'm gonna tell you. I had Ducks Unlimited shirts on. I had nice blue jeans with pleats messed in them. I walked in the store. It wasn't a Ducks Unlimited banquet. It wasn't. It wasn't anything to do with that. These guys dress like what we are right now, but their hearts is in the right place. They carried 22 people in track in, in track chairs and wheelchairs here, honey. 17 of them harvested deer. One of them was a quadriplegic. You ask me how that's done. He did it with a TV telescope and a sniff tube on the right. I carried a, a, a paraplegic that had his legs burned off by a roll of steel. I have carried a terminally ill cancer patient. Both of them are still with us today. They just weren't able to make it. But in two days, we killed them two limits of duck. It wasn't easy. My boys had to drag a boat, eight, that 18 foot express, about a quarter mile, half mile, two foot and a half water. But we got to where the ducks were, and we had a good time. And I knew from that time on that I was going to be invested in this. And I'm, in, I'm here, and I'm in it until the day I die. And each and every one of you, I want you to go to hopeoutdoors.org. I want you to look at it. I want you to read about it. I want you to see what gets done about it. And then I want you to hit the like button. And then I want you to get involved with me, just like you did today. And we're going to have an auction here in a few minutes. Mr. God is going to be auctioneer. I want you guys to dig deep in your pockets. I've told them a figure that I wanted to make today. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but we're close to it close to it because of everybody here. I want y'all to take a good look at that sponsors board behind us. Those sponsors gave openly and freely to this auction. So bid your hearts out. Nani, Nani, I want to thank y'all guys for coming. I want to thank everybody out here. Appreciate it. Let's get on with it. back to the studio as y'all can tell uh, I mean that's just a beautiful area down there JR I yeah. mean we really enjoyed just being up down the river that day with you and having you take us around and just hear some of the history in the area and and the, the, the fishing's fantastic the fishing's fantastic that area is so rich in in history you, you've got the Civil War that went on, you, you've got the agricultural that goes on there along the riverbanks. Uh, you've got catfishing, you've got stripe fishing, you've got crappie fishing, you've got brim fishing, you've got bass fishing. 
is whatever you want to do you can do it there can't you <laughs> whatever you want to do it's <laughs> wide open to do well i'm looking forward to heading to the weigh-in in the second segment because there were some nice catfish came in that day so we're about to get to see all that right now it's time to go over and do this week's wild game forecast it's being sponsored by our friends over at wilson bank and trust you guys can stop in and check them out at one of 28 middle tennessee locations talk to them about all your banking and financial needs and be sure to tell them thank you for everything that they do for us right here at southern woods and waters all right, guys, well, the, the forecast is looking pretty good. Um, the deer movement this weekend was evidently, you know, did pretty good this weekend. Had 756 deer were taken this weekend statewide. Wow. Cool. So that's, you know, that's a pretty good lick for a couple of days here, yeah. here on the uh, velvet hunt. The CWD zone, for those that you might uh, wonder, that was 152 of those deer were in the CWD zone. Nice. Uh, and again, 756 statewide. So good start off to the season. And guys, I saw some really good bucks uh, you know, that were checked in this weekend. I agree with that. I saw so, some great deer killed. It, uh, it, you know, we talk about it seems to get better every year, and, and it did not disappoint nope. You know, this mm -hmm. year when it opened up. So looking forward to uh, coming up on the regular bow season here in a few weeks. And for those of you that have been dove hunting, I, I heard of a few good shoots. Uh, over the weekend, we went and shot ourselves, and, and uh, we're having a decent shoot until the lightning took over the field at about <laughs> 5 o'clock, and we headed to the house. But I uh, heard of some good shoots going on. I have heard some concern, uh, some folks saying that their birds have kind of left, you know, coming up to this mm. weekend. I think that hurricane may have had some effect on them uh, and all these weather patterns. So hopefully we'll get some more birds settled in here soon and, and see how that goes. Uh, fishing still looking pretty good. Now the water. It's a little bit messed up right now, isn't it, Jr. You, with all this rain, rain. man, it just, they're constantly pulling water. Yeah, it's they're constantly pulling water. It's but. up and it's down, it's up and it's down, and it, it's hard to get, it, it's hard to get a rhythm going. Uh, but the fishing's on fire. Oh yeah. It, uh, uh, the the cat fishing, the, everything is off the off the spawn, and uh, I mean they're there, they're there. You just got to get out. You got to you got to fish for them. Now I've heard a lot about the striper, you know, hybrid bite really turning on the last few weeks. The, the hybrid bite has really turned on. Uh, we still have not had the big fish show up yet. Yeah. But we're still catching numbers. Hey, that's that's just as good. Yeah, it? that's right. <laughs> we're we're catching numbers good. in the in the ten to fifteen pound range. Yeah. There are some big ones that's getting caught occasionally. Uh, and the bass fishing on the lake, on, that is Pickwick, Pickwick. Lake. Um, I host the Monday night bass tournaments out there, and we've we are, the smallmouth bites picking up. Uh, we're starting to see some some we're three fish limit. We're starting to see some 10, 11, 12 pound weights and hey, three that's, fish. That's a good nice. night. That's a good and, night of fishing. Uh, you know, so I that's mean, it's good. just September the first is my Christmas. Yeah, you know, <laughs> that's right. Everything kind of kicks off. Everything now, so. kicks off. Dude. That's right. We say the same thing. Well, guys, we want to remind you to follow us on Facebook. Keep up with us there. We've always got giveaways and letting you guys follow along with us on our trips uh, on the weekends in between shows. You can kind of see what we're up to. Check us out at SWWTV.com. You can find all of our past episodes there and find links to all of our sponsors. We'll be back here in just a minute with this week's pictures of the week and some more Southern Woods and Waters.